Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning on next. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no, no, no. He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz. The lord will smite you from this land, all of you. May God have mercy on... <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Swill with the best. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives on... Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Nor himself could now drink me.
What are you doing? You there. Did you see anything strange around Grandbridge before the attack? I didn't. I was in the longhouse drinking with Birna and her man all night. She can really put it away. You're not the regular sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you. It must ache to serve under someone you love so deeply. One who doesn't love you back. Some days the pain hits hard. I need to press my hand into my heart to keep it from digging through my chest. You were a smuggler. Some would say that's not a trustworthy past. And water is wet. What a surprise. I'm an opportunist. I see a chance, I take it. It's helped Soma so far. She knows what I am, what I was. But she trusts me. Who would better know the difference between a joke and the truth? What happened the night of the attack? The people were at peace. A beautiful night, fog and all. Then came the Saxons all around. And Soma roaring like a great bear. When she called a retreat... We ran for the longboats, aiming to regroup in the swamps. It was an ambush, no more, no less. Someone in the city led the Saxons through the Longhouse Tunnel. When the fighting started, where were you? Drinking with my warriors in the Longhouse. When the Saxons came, I fought. I couldn't have shown anyone the tunnel. Eyes were on me all day and night. You're back going. Eivor, you look like the wind has flecked your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. You told me you often disagree with Soma's orders. I do, but I follow them. It's my duty to this clan, to my Yal's corner. A man's honor comes from his acts, not his wishes. You said your yellow paint was stolen before the attack. Aye, and yellow is not an easy pigment to mix, let alone acquire. I was furious it was stolen. How did you feel when Guthrum named Soma the steward of Grandbridge, and not you? 
If being honorable were easy, we would have no evil men. It is something I... I wanted, sure. But I'm a man of honor, above all. How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. Leif, someone showed the Saxons the Longhouse Tunnel. Where were you when the attack started? What were you doing? When the fighting started, I was in my workshop, decorating a sail for our allies in Grimsby. Without my yellow paint. By the time Soma gathered me to retreat, the city was under attack from within. I was nowhere near the tunnel. Nowhere. Did anything strange happen before the attack on Grandridge? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. One to the Melbourne Monastery and one toward the uh, Utbeck camp. I think they were messengers. I didn't think anything of it since they weren't coming here. Come, see my wares. Nothing else? I will see you later, friend. Did you see anything strange on the night before the attack? I saw someone run from the outskirts of Grant Bridge to the shore, just before the fighting started. Too dark to see who. Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering. The visions you've had about you and Soma, how do you interpret them? A piercing question. <laughs> I believe it means that Soma will lead me to greatness, however difficult. That she is linked to my destiny. Why were you at death's door when Soma found you? I left my clan to pursue my ambition. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled my memory. But I was hungry for more ambitions. You may not understand, but Soma does. She knows the gods have a plan for me, and that following it is worth any risk. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. I'm trying to find who betrayed Soma to the Saxons. I could use your help. I wish I could help. The night of the attack I was meditating on the shore far from prying eyes. I was alone that night. And until Saxons appeared, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I hope that's enough.
calm down. What do you see, Sunan? This tunnel leads to the longhouse. The trader marked it with a yellow cross. Then opened the way and let them in. The trader must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank.
Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beach here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel. Stretch your wings, Sunan. What can I get for you? I'm off. Be well, friend.
Can I help you with something else? I was wondering... I found your yellow paint barrel near the river. Did you? It was stolen from my workshop not long ago. I found it on the riverbank. It was empty. I should be going. Can I help you with something else? I was wondering... How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. I found your yellow paint barrel near the river. Did you? It was stolen from my workshop not long ago. I found it on the riverbank. It was empty. I should be going. You return. I was wondering. I should be going. You return. I was wondering. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. I should be going.
Challenger! Did you find enough clues around Grandbridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? Garlin had no alibi. No one can place his location on the night of the attack. He's an odd one, that man. But he is a man, not a toddler. He doesn't need a constant watch. A local said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river, just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No, they couldn't be seen through the fog. But whoever it was, they knew something bad was coming. Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. Think you can swallow it? How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real <sighs> with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I'll take on all comers!